G'day mates and welcome to today's Australian themed FTL. We're going back into space, back into back into the cockpit, so we're gonna fly through the uh, through the through the galaxy, see if we can play some more FTL and uh, today's episode is gonna we're gonna be taking uh, taking the Australian ship the the deadly dingo that's right mates deadly dingo and uh, and we're going to be seeing what we can do in ftl right now we need our crew and let's see first up we've got fran beautiful australian name there and uh of course we've got mike mike here how you doing mike and uh Who's our last crew member going to be, guys? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of an Australian name. Um, let's stick with uh, with Dave. Dave's Australian. It's Australian enough. Why not? Okay. Right, guys. Let's, let's take it out. Let's throw the shrimps on the barbie and uh, and jump into space. Now, we're going to be seeing if we can unlock some of these. Check these out. Check out these awesome kind of ships. Look at that! Oh, that's what we got at the moment, guys. But uh, but you see some of these some of these awesome-looking types of ships that we're going to have to unlock later and take out for a bit of a spin. I don't know if you spin in space because you ain't got no wheels, but all the same, we'll stick with the uh, stick with the old deadly dingo to start with. And uh, and what are we doing here? We've um, we've not got anything else to spend. We're pretty much stuck with our Artemis. In our burst laser number two mark two of course right guys we're gonna stick on easy as well make things a bit easier because last time well we crashed and we burned quite hard so let's start the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet yeah we know the story right we're fleeing from the rebels so here we are it's paused and we're at the start location I don't see any ships we've got Fran Mike and Dave first up let's move them around this ship now I think Fran we want, uh, well, let's see. We get bonuses from having uh, crew members in the shields first. So let's get Fran to the shields room. She can keep her shields topped up good and proper, yeah? And uh, who's this? Mike. Mike and Dave. Well, let's put Dave on, I think, the weapon system. Because that means it charges quicker, right? So uh, those two are on. And we've got Dave there in the weapons bay and that means that our, our, our lasers and our rockets will charge super quick so when we're in the thick of combat Dave can keep us topped up on our rockets and our lasers and uh, and of course Mike in the cockpit makes sure that you know when we need to make a quick getaway we can do so and we can jump to FTL right guys so let's look at the beacon map and uh, and here you go as you can see we've got our, our points here on the left in our exit here somewhere over on the right in a nebula section right over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and get as many of these big beacons visited so we can see what's going on in this sector and then get out through the exit before the rebels who are going to appear on the left of the map swamp over and encroach over onto our territory that we are in and basically catch us and get rid of all this lovely data that we got on the kangaroo conundrum conference which is what we're trying to protect from the rebels because if they get in well they're gonna they're gonna kill all our kangas and we'll be done for so first up I reckon let's go to the store see what's see what kind of deals everyone at the store a ship engineer has set up a small shop here all right well, let's see what he's got crew teleporter allows you to send your crew members to board enemy vessels crikey well, we've only got 30 scrap. Oh, Christ, we can't afford anything. We can buy uh, missiles. Oh, they're quite cheap, actually. FTL fuel, one jump per fuel. Okay, that's three each. And uh, drone part, allows you to deploy drone schematics you found. Each deployment costs one drone part. Well, crikey. I don't know. What are we going to go for, then? I reckon... I'm going to jump in and grab a couple of missiles, because, uh, oh, no, I don't want to sell them. No. No, that's buy. All right, we're buying them. That's right, we've got 15 jumps up here, and now we've got 10 missiles. Okay, great. So we can uh, waste a bunch of fools with those rockets that we got, but we can't afford much else. So I reckon it's time to, uh, time to come out of here 
and uh, and say farewell to the engineer. Thank you very much for sorting out the deadly dingo with a couple of uh, couple of rockets, a couple of missiles. We'll see you later. We'll give you an invite to the Barbie that we're going to have when we finally get the intel delivered to the uh, to the Alliance fleet. So let's jump. And uh, where are we going to go, guys? I reckon. Uh, yeah, let's go towards the sun. Let's go. Let's go to this this location right here, guys. Oh my God! An asteroid field. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves to attack. Oh, it's an it's an energy bomber, guys. It's got it's got one shield, very little hull. I reckon we can smoke this guy, no problem. In fact, we haven't got much choice. So let's turn and fight. Oh, pause the game. Discharge the weapons and uh, well. We've got a guy in there, Mike. Mike's in the weapons. So stay in there and charge up them weapons for us, Mike. Charge them up right quick. And uh, what are we going to go for? Well, let's take out his weapon system first so we can't fire back. Just the job. Just the ticket. Oh, crap. We're taking hits, but the shields are holding. Oh, God. And the asteroids. Asteroids are hitting our ship, damaging us. Oh, no. Oh, no. The O2 chamber. The O2 chamber's taking hits. You are considerably well armed, more considerably more well armed than I would have thought. We surrender. Oh, nice! The pirates have surrendered. Now, do we accept their offer, or do we blast them to smithereens? I say. Well, I don't know. They're offering us some fuel and some missiles. I think we'll accept their offer. Yeah. Yeah. Good on you guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for surrendering. But we're still taking hits from the asteroids. So let's get Mike. Come on, Mike. Into the O2 chamber to repair things in there. Yeah, go on, mate. Oh, he's, he's taking uh, he's taking damage. I'm not sure why. So we're gonna have to get him out of there if, uh, if things get too hairy. Yeah, Mike. Mike, you okay, Mike? Oh no, he's he's oh he's getting very he's getting very sick. Mike is. Oh, we're still taking damage from asteroids, but it's not enough to breach our shields. So is our oxygen going? Oh, the oxygen's going down. Fran, get in there. Fix that compartment. So friends in there. Now she's taking hits too, but uh, Dave would have, Mike would have been toast for sure. So there she is fixing the O2 room. Good on you, friend. Taking one for the team. Oh, be careful though, friend. Oh, friend, no, get out of there. Get out of there, friend. Oh god, we're gonna have to get Dave back in there to fix the O2 room. This ain't looking good though. Oxygen is down to 29. Oh, oxygen's right low. Oh no. Well, we're gonna have to keep. Uh, Keep Dave in there long enough to repair the oxygen chamber. There it is, it's yellow. Come on, guys. Fantastic. Yeah, good job. Oh no! Don't die! No! Oh no! We've just lost Dave! Alright, Fran. And uh and Mike, get into the get into the get into the uh, the med bay. Jeez. I can't believe I can't believe we lost uh we lost Dave, guys. Oh we're one crew member dead. This is not looking good. We're in a proper conundrum right here. Well, these guys are back up to full health. We'll get Fran back in the shields, and Mike, you better you better stick on the stick on the pilot, the uh, the old cockpit there. But yeah, oh guys, we're in a real pickle right here. I don't know what to do. We're gonna have to jump, and uh, oh, there's a distress signal, guys. Someone might need help. Well, the deadly dingo does not shy away from helping those in need, so off we go. See what's up. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking, what's wrong? Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Send the crew to help immediately. Giant alien spiders are no joke. Oh, I don't know. I think if we do this, air crew members are going to get, you know, eaten by giant spiders. And let me tell you, we got some proper giant spiders over in Oz. And uh, I'm not keen on finding out what they got in space, let me tell you guys. So, send the crew immediately? Uh, I don't know. I want to leave them alone. I want to protect our crew. But I also want to, you know, do a kind deed to a ship in distress. So, we're going to send one over. Your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly, a man-sized arachne bursts from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everybody made it back. Well, guys, 
shit, basically. We Fran! No! No, we've lost Fran! Oh no! Well, <laughs> it's just... It's just Mike. <laughs> well, Mike, I think you're proper fucked, mate. But, <laughs> all the same. Let's get Mike into the shield room. Because I think that's the most... Oh no, we need, we need a guy in the cockpit, obviously. What am I thinking? To pilot FTL. But, what we might do is head on over to the ship upgrades. And, we can... Uh, we can upgrade the pilot system right there. Yeah. Except... And now, I don't think we need anybody in the... Uh... Oh no, we do. We do need somebody in the engine room. We need someone in the cockpit to uh, to fly the ship. Never mind. Let's jump in. Oh no, look, you can see. The rebels are encroaching on our territory. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head back here. Then we're going to go through the nebula a bit. And then we're going to head for the exit. Hopefully, before the rebels manage to catch us. So guys, let's go. Alright, what's going on? This is a very pink galaxy. You arrive in a system and immediately discover a pirate ship nearby. Strangely, scans indicate that there are no life forms aboard. Well, you salvage uh, anything useful, but find no clue as to the whereabouts of the former crew. Two missiles, one drone part, oh nice, and uh, 22 scrap. That's great, great news, great news. Mike may not be in as much trouble as we thought he was, so I guess that's all there is to do in this sector. Let's jump. Oh, and the rebels! The rebels are closing, so uh, we better we better step to it, I think, and go straight to the nebula. Here we go. Now this is a dangerous zone because sensors don't work. Oh, and already we can see danger. Oh no, it's an auto scout. You cross paths with an advanced scout of the rebel fleet, searching this section of the nebula for your ship. Well, I should I think they found us. But look at this ship. It's only got a cockpit, an engine room, and weapons. It hasn't even got shields. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna bounce this guy back to the, back to the last millennium, guys. So, let's shoot the lasers at his cockpit, so we can't fly nowhere. And let's shoot. In fact, we're not. We're gonna save our rockets because we've only got 13 of them blighters. So, uh, yeah, I reckon we're gonna shoot the cockpit. So, let's, uh, let's send Mike to the weapons room. So that he can charge them super quick and uh, lock that burst laser onto the cockpit. There we go. Good job, Mike. Oh, we're taking hits, but the shields are holding. There we go. Oh, look at that damage. Yeah, I think their cockpit's done for. They're still shooting, though. Well, let's shoot the lasers at their weapon system. There we go. Oh, and he's down for the can. Good job, guys. The ship explodes, leaving a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Great. Great stuff, guys. So, we got 58 scrap. And, uh... And yeah, let's let's head on to the ship, to the shop, see if there's any, uh, any crew we can buy. No, there isn't. Well, this is just a ship. I think upgrades we can get here, but we can't upgrade the crew. So, okay. Except, let's get Mike back into the cockpit. Good on you, Mike. And uh, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Jump into the next sector. Oh, and the Rebels are going right proper slow. I think that's because we're in the nebula, guys. So uh, let's stick in the nebula. Might be a bit dangerous, but... Um, well. Oh, what's the... Oh, my God. That's a huge ship. It's a Rebel Rigger. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Despite the harsh conditions, a Rebel Scat seems to be waiting for you. Oh, no. And he's, and he's shooting us. Well, what are we going to do? He's got a lot of hull, but he's got no shields. Again, no shields. So, I think we're going to have to primarily go for his drones. And, not enough power? What do you mean? What do you mean, not enough power? Well, um, why don't we have enough power? That's an odd one. Reactor. Unused reactor energy available to power your systems. We've got one in the med bay. We can, uh, we can turn off the med bay. Oh, yeah. And uh, the plan is just the ship's oxygen supply. Well, we can turn that off because we're not losing oxygen. So I don't think we need it. And the shield, well, we need the shield because, crikey, if we lose that, we're in, we're in proper distress. So, let's power the weapons. We've got enough for the missile, at least. And that can break through shields, so we'll, uh, we'll use that. In fact, we can probably fire the burst laser instead because I want to save my missiles. And, uh, and we'll shoot the drone, the drone section first. Here we go. 
And in fact, let's get Mike out of there into the weapon room so that he can charge those lasers proper quick. Come on, Mike. Pew, pew, pew! Oh, yeah. Done the business. Good on you, Mike. And now, let's take out their weapons so they're completely dead in the water. You can see the drone there just floating by. He can't do, he can't do crap because we just took out his drone. Drone section. Yeah. Yeah. His shields are up, but his weapons are down. Good on you. Now, the killing blow. Let's take out the cockpit. Wipe this guy off the face of the face of the space. Off the, off the face of space. Pew, pew, pew. Gotcha. And he ain't got much hull left, guys, so I reckon next shots are good. Oh, no, the drone's back up. The drone's back up. But it's okay. This shot. Boom. Send him down to the uh, Davy Jones space locker. Good job. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. Nice. One fuel, two missiles, 24 scrap. Proper.